Today, I wish to bring forth a further discussion about this old vintage Zippo lighter wicks. We have here two sets of almost identical self-seal cuts that were suggested for sale at 25 cents each. This is such a niche topic to talk about because I only came across brief discussions about them on the forums and nothing goes deeper than that. I just wonder if anyone else is as obsessed as me towards these pieces of old strings and musty packages as we see right here. But what I know is that such collectible items are gradually running low in supply. They are getting more expensive. And these are the things that kind of invokes a sense of nostalgia because lighter wicks nowadays are no longer sold in such manner. Between, between these um, two sets, we can quite clearly discern the contrast between the individual wick packaging. And this is the key thing that I want to talk about today. This is written in my blog as well, link in the description below. Do check this out for further reading if you are keen. Alright, let's go through the timeline to see how the suggested pricing had gone up throughout the years. Between the late 1940s to the early 50s, each of these week was sold for 5 cents each. These were the traditional Zippo lighter wicks of the asbestos core and the cotton sheath. Just a word of advice, if you have one of such a wick, please do not throw it away. Keep it, alright? Zippo used to say that these wicks would last for life. Between the late 1950s to the 70s, the price has gone up to 10 cents each. Take notice that the packaging remains the same within this individual waxed paper envelope that has now turned brown and crumbly since. From the 1980s, Zippo stopped selling the traditional wicks of the asbestos core and cotton sheath. They had since redesigned this component to be of the copper braided ones that we are familiar with today. Looking at how these were still being packed in the waxed paper envelope that has gone brown and crumbly. Now looking at both these self seal cuts identically suggested for 25 cents each. Now here there is a burning question arising why the difference in the individual packaging. Both sets contain identical copper wired wicks and this set with the waxed paper envelope came from the states whereas the others with the seemingly clean white packaging it came from a place you would not expect which is from Thailand. Huh? Considering the difference in packaging and the different origin where it came from, so it begs the question, why the difference? Oh my god! I asked around the forum, and someone replied that these clean white glossy packages could be made of a material called glassine. This self-seal Display with the glassine packets being sold as a surplus collectibles. Uh oh. So, I think I know what you are thinking, and these were the same thoughts that I had. Oh yeah. Could this potentially be a good quote and unquote copy? Oh no. But but before coming to such. A conclusion or judgment, why not we look at it from a different perspective? P 
piecing together details about the background of these regions and the histories as well. Let us first look back in time between the 50s to 70s where many Americans were in Vietnam or throughout the Southeast Asian countries during the 20 years of conflict. Within most military bases, if not all, that were in Vietnam and Southeast Asian countries such as Thailand, GIs would quite likely get their supplies from the Military Post Exchange, DPX. Things would be available for them such as clothing, boots, watches, even Zippo lighters and the wicks. These Zippo lighter wicks from Southeast Asia, the 5 cents asbestos core as well as the 25 cents copper braided, they were most if not all found to be packaged in glassine. If these vintage wick packagings are genuine and time correct, then why? Why would they be packaged in glassine and not the waxed paper envelopes? Even after the Vietnam War, the 25 cents wick packets still remain in the same packaging and nothing has changed. Looking into the properties of glassine, things may start to begin making some sense. If glassine was indeed used for the packagings, then it is water resistant, perhaps more effective than waxed paper. I realized to look into the surroundings, the environments of the Southeast Asian countries. Such as in Vietnam, it is mostly humid, mostly wet. These were the kind of shitholes that the soldiers had to live their lives through. So I begin to wonder if Zippo company was already aware about such environments which their consumers had to go through in Asia. Were they aware about the muddy trenches, the wet and humid jungle, and the relentless pouring of the rain? If that is the case that they know, then by repackaging the lighter wicks in a more resistant package such as with glassine, that would be quite a nice gesture and a smart move to protect the longevity and the usability of such an essential part of the lighter. What? What I have shared are just speculations based on pieces of information I had shared. If anyone has more to add or has stories to tell, do drop your comments um, in the comment section below. I am really keen to hear and engage in further discussions. And maybe you can consider my sharings and look towards these Southeast Asian countries such as Thailand to look for loose Zippo components that you may need, if it's not too expensive, of course. All right, guys, that's the end of my video. Thank you all for watching. I hope you all have a great one.